Okay, welcome back everybody. We are at part B of question 9. Let's go. They say consider the following pair of simultaneous equations. Hmm. Well, you see that this pair of simultaneous equations not very straightforward at all. You have to remember that we're in section 2 of the paper and you have to do more work for less marks. All right? They say here, without solving, without, you see it in full caps, show that 1, 2 is a solution for the pair of simultaneous equations. Let's see. You don't solve it. Alright? But you're going to show. Now, 1, 2, 1, 2. It means x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. It is a solution, so let's look at this. x squared plus 2xy equal 5 and x plus y equals 3. When x is 1, then it means that this here and this here will be 1 each. It's one that should come here and one that should come here. When we, and this two, I missed out this one. This x should turn to one. Well, now that you have numbers, you must put a multiplication sign between them. You don't want it to look like you're writing 21. It's two times one. Two x means two times x, but you normally leave out the multiplication sign when it's just letters. Here we have numbers, so I have to put it. Then y is equal to 2. So we get rid of this y and put 2. We need to get rid of this y as well and put 2. Now let's work this out. 1 squared. What this implies is that 1 squared is 1 plus 2 1 2 2 2 is 4 equals 5. So good, this works. What does this imply? <coughs> 1 plus 2 is 3. Alright, that's straightforward. You can see it. So, shown. We have shown it. Alright? So that's part 1. It was 2 marks. I didn't put it here. That is 2 marks. This one, no. Seem like it's going to be quite a bit of work because it's five marks. I suspect we're going to need the space, you know. So let me get rid of this to use up the space here. So we've already shown that one comma two, one two, is a solution. We want the other solution by solving it. So the pair of simultaneous equations above to determine the other solutions. So let's see. We have x squared plus 2xy equals 5. Let's call this equation 1. We have x plus y equals 3. Let's call this. Alright, let me put the equal hmm, to a big eraser. Plus y equals 3. Let me line up the the equals just for neatness. Equal in equation 1 and 2 lined up. Alright, so this is equation 2. Equation 1, equation 2. Let's see. Let me transpose making y the subject of the formula in equation 2. If I should minus x on the left and minus x on the right here, I would have y equal, no more x is this, x is gone, y equal 3 minus x. Good. I can put this in a bracket. Now that I know y, and I write back x squared plus 2x, let me give y some space, equals 5. This y is this y. But then y, y right back y. I could
could put the 3 minus x so let me get rid of this y and put what it is it has become 3 minus x nice now x squared plus 2x let's multiply out the brackets 2x times 3 2 by 3 is 6 x 6x six then 2x times negative x gives you a negative 2x squared equals 5 all right so let's put like terms together x squared beside x squared I have x squared minus 2x squared plus 6x equals 5 remember x squared mean 1x squared you know what is 1 minus 2 it's negative 1 let me uh, separate our working space here using this line so back to what we were doing 1x squared minus 2x squared will give you and accidentally put a, a little negative it's only one negative sign here all right so 1x squared minus 2x squared gives you a negative 1x squared all right plus 6x equals 5 I want it in the general form of the quadratic equation Remember the general form is a x squared plus b x plus c equals zero. So I want equal zero over here. If I minus five from here and minus five from here, I'm going to get negative negative one x squared plus six x minus five on the left equal five minus five zero on the right good so I have a negative x squared it's negative 1 x squared but I can rub out the one from from now so the equation has become negative x squared plus 6 x minus 5 equals 0 but to tell you the truth I'm more comfortable working with a positive x squared we could work with this with a negative right I'm more comfortable working with a positive x squared I could multiply both sides by a negative one and get this as a positive x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0 but let's see if we can work with the negative in front of the x squared in this case we could solve this using the quadratic formula if we use that then our a would be negative 1 our b would be positive 6 and our c would be it's not 5 it's negative 5 it's plus this is the same as plus negative 5 6x minus 5 is the same as 6x plus negative 5 so our c is 5 it's negative 5 I mean so using the formula x equal negative b which is negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 6 squared minus 4 times a which is negative 1 times c which is negative 5 all over 2 times negative 1 to 2 a so x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is 36 now you have minus you're going to have a 4 by a negative 1 that's negative 4 times a negative 5 negative 4 by a negative 5 gives you a positive 20 all over 2 
times negative 1 gives you a negative 2. So x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus. What, what happened under the square root sign here? 36 minus 20 is 16. So it's the square root of 16 all over negative 2. Let's separate our working space here again. Alright, good. Now, what we have here, in one case, uh, first of all, what does this become? It's negative 6 plus or minus, uh, plus or minus 4 over negative 2. So in one case, x is negative 6 plus 4 over negative 2. In the other case, x is negative 6 minus 4 over negative 2. You see that? So, oh no, what's going on? Mm, my software playing tricks on me. Alright, over negative 2. No, x is negative 6 plus 4 is what? Is negative 2. Negative 2 over negative 2. So in this case, x is positive 1. But we dealt with that already. So we don't have to deal with this anymore. We already dealt with the case where x is 1. And we saw that y is 2. Alright, so that one was taken care of already. In this case here over here now, x is negative 6 minus 4 is what? Negative 10. Negative 10 divided by negative 2. Negative divided by negative. Positive. 5. So what happens when x is 5? We see here that x is 5. But we need to find out what is y when x is 5. So when x is equal to 5, what is y? Here, we saw here that y is 3 minus x. So, in this case, y is 3 minus 5. Because x is 5. Right? So, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So, the solution is x equals 5 y equal negative 2. So therefore 5 comma negative 2 is also a solution to the equation.